Welcome back, gamers, to Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm back, Meat Geek, and we're, we're going to continue our adventure, actually conclude our adventure, uh, with Ben Jordan. Case number seven, The Cardinal Sins. Paranormal investigator Ben Jordan, he investigates the paranormal. Um, if you hear some popping sounds in the background, calm down, relax. It's Canada Day, and here in Canada we celebrate our Canada's birthday, as well as America will be celebrating uh, 4th of July, so you'll hear fireworks in your country. But uh, that's what's happening right now, so I thought I'd celebrate a little bit of Canada Day by playing a little gaming video before I go to bed. I have to go to, go to work on Canada Day. Oh well. Um, for morning, so I'm going to have a quick rest, a quick game, and then a rest, and then uh, back in the work. We're going to continue our adventure, so I appreciate it if you would tune in, relax. We're going to go we're gonna solve this mystery. Alright, hope you're uh, ready for a bumpy ride. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go. Uh, St. Peter's Basilica. So we're at the Basilica now. Let's talk to uh, Al Alice Wilkins. No time for small talk, you need to find a way into the Basilica. Alright, let's ask her a question. Group huddle. Alright, a little plan here. Okay, guys, we need to distract that guard somehow. That's what I was thinking. But how do we do it? Um, obnoxious tourists, performance art, forget it. I can't come up with anything right now. Let me give it some more thought. Yeah, we'll, 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 we're going to talk to the Swiss guard first. Excuse me, I... The Basilica is closed for the evening, so... Oh, really? You'll have to come back tomorrow. Okay, um, well, well can we talk to you... Can we get in? Anyway? Excuse me, I... The Basilica is closed for the evening, sir. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Okay, okay. Well, let's go have a root puddle again. Group puddle. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, guys, we need to distract that guard somehow. That's what I was thinking. But how do we do it? Let's, uh... Let's uh, do a performance art. Put on some kind of performance art. Distract them. Maybe that will distract the guard enough for me to sneak by. I am a fish! I am left in felt and fit! I am alive! What are you doing? Little girls, go back and forth! We are moving! Together! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it right now! Stop it! Oh, cats. Thank you, performers! Alright, get in there quickly while he's distracted. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can find Bianchi's office. But first, I'll talk to the Cardinal. Maybe we can distract him. Confessional. We need to get in there. Quarter. Never mind. All right, let's get moving. Save our progress as St. Peter's Basilica inside, uh, or how about just um, Bianchi's apartment uh, office? All right. <clears throat> Get in there. You step over the rope and enter the door. Now, do we have the proper equipment? Here we go. It's an ornate silver cross wrapped in a gold chain. You hope you don't get it in trouble for sealing it. All right, all right. <clears throat> What's this one say? A small golden nameplate indicates that the door leads to the office of you, Eco. What's what's behind there? You don't need to go into that office. All right, what's this gold box? An odd-looking gold box is sitting on the desk. It has a small hole, 
at the top shape like a hexagon. Alright, let's do this. Gold box. You stick the box, the base of the cross, into the hole in the box. To your astonishment, it's a perfect fit. Gong. What's in there? You place the cross in the box, it fits so perfectly, it has to be delivered. <coughs> it's a key. Realize that the cross looks a lot like a lever in its current position, you pull it back towards you. Oh my goodness. Aha, so you were hiding something. A secret doorway. Bookshelf contains an entire set of Catholic Encyclopedia. Let's save as Bianchi's office. Now what's in here? Here we go. Looking within the, the forbidden doorway of the Vatican. As you enter the room, a chill goes down your spine. Your attention is immediately drawn to the giant altarpiece in what the center the of the crown. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> symbol. You recognize the symbol of the Knights of St. Anthony embedded in the altarpiece. A large orna ornately carved golden altarpiece in the main focus of this ro secret room. You wonder why it could be so important to keep hidden. It's a small display case containing a tiny piece of carved stone. The plaque reads, Sacred Mikosuki Stone, Florida Everglades. It seems to be a small fragment of a cactus growing out on a piece of black wood. The plaque reads, White Peyote, Dunesburg, California. Seeing the name Dunesburg catches you by surprise. The plaque reads, Exorcism Amulet, Vatican. However, the shelf above it is empty. It's a, shi it's a shiny silver urn. The plaque says, The plaque reads, Ashes of, of W. Tyndale, London, England. He's the guy who wrote the Bible, isn't he? In, in England? The Tyndale Bible? A small decorative pillow sits on the shelf. In the center lies a yellow tooth, which looks to be human. The plaque says, Tooth of the Buddha, Kama Kamatuka, Kamakura, Japan. A glass jar full of what appears to be formaldehyde. Through the, though the liquid is cloudy, you can just make out what appears to be a shriveled up shrunken head with, a sn with, with snakes for hair inside. The plaque reads, Head of Medusa, near Agia Anna, Greece. You're startled by seeing the name Agia Anna. Suddenly you remember the empty box in the cave on the island of the Minotaur. I guess this is what was inside it. Alright. An, an uncomfortable realization swoops over you after reading the plaques. These things, they're all from places I've been. You remember the words of the oracle in Greece. What was it she said? Things have been taken and are causing disturbances? Oh. So that means Bianchi and the Knights of St. Anthony have been collecting all these items and hoarding them here. And by removing them, they've been causing all these paranormal phenomena I've been investigating. But why? What's so special what's about this, these objects? What's going on? Uh-oh, here, here he is. I'm he glad you asked. Yes. Bianchi. Bianchi. What are you doing here? I might ask you the same thing. Yes. But first, the most important question. Who are you? I'm Ben Jordan, a paranormal investigator. So, you are the one who's so. been asking about me and looking into the Renzi incident. Yes. I suppose it wasn't enough to break into my apartment and steal my key. You had to come here and pry into affairs that don't concern you? Defend your actions, assault Bianchi. Defend your actions. But this does concern you. Yes, it does. But taking these objects has caused all the stuff I've been investigating. What are all these things, anyway? The objects you see behind the relics from various religions. Yes. The Knights of Saint what? Anthony have been charged with the great task. And what is, what the, is the great task? task? Recovering the lost relics, of course. But why? What purpose does taking all these things serve? The time is not right for you to do <clears throat> that. At the moment, the only thing that matters is the empty place on the shelf behind you. The <coughs> The plaque says it's here in the Vatican. That is correct. It is. And you are going to get it for me. 
I am? You? Yes. yes. I myself tried retrieving it a few days ago, but it would not be taken so lightly. Instead of removing the amulet, I accidentally released the demon that was contained within. The demon that possessed Renzi? Yes. The consequences oh. were more dire than I imagined. But luckily, I was able to resolve that problem. By convincing Renzi to kill himself? What the hell kind of solution is that? Now is not the time to discuss my methods. It is time for action. You will come with me to the Vatican Grotto and fetch the exorcist and amulet. And what if I don't? Then your life ends now. For a second, you feel so determined to defy Bianchi that you're considered refusing to cooperate in taking the bullet. But then you remember Alice and Simon. Fine, let's go. I'm glad you've chosen to see reason. What a dick. The exorcism amulet is in the mausoleum just down the hall. I will wait for you here while you retrieve it. <clears throat> Let's just save our progress. X, sir, X, X, or Sism Amulet. Bank is waiting impatiently for you to get him the exercise exorcism amulet. I have some questions for you. Time is of the essence. Be brief. Amulet. Uh, it's Knights of St. Anthony. How long have the Knights of St. Anthony been around? Many years. We have been charged with the great task for quite some time. The great task. It has not been easy, but finally we are almost at an end. In but a few days, we shall gain the glory that is rightfully ours. Glory? Glory. What glory? You will see. Mm. Stop wasting time and get me the amulet. Uh, Vatican Grotto. So this is the Vatican Grotto? It doesn't look anything like I expected. <laughs> that is because this area is not open to tourists. In fact, it took me a very long time to discover it. What's so special about it? Have you not been paying attention? It is the entire reason we are here. Oh, the amulet, right. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Finally, you realize it. There's no Fun. need to be condescending. <laughs> amulet. Is there anything I should know about the amulet? If you must know its history. It is an amulet used by Jesus to exorcise demons. Seriously? So why are you making me get it? The amulet can only be taken under special circumstances. I already tried once, and cannot try again. Since my attempt was unsuccessful, and you just happened to wander into my office, I decided to give you the honor of trying. What happens if I'm not able to take it either? Then, regrettably, I must kill you and find someone else. You're all heart, Bianchi. I'll just go get that amulet. Yes. Stop wasting time. <coughs> Let's move on. All right, we got to do this. Okay, what's this? Here is what I found. Okay, so we've arrived at the uh, end of the grotto. Chiro, it's Chiro, symbol of Christ. Ah, interesting. Statue, it's a small statue of Jesus. A large red cloth is spread over a stone slab. You find it odd that that's such a decoration in, in a mausoleum. Tomb, a large stone tomb with carved sides is sitting in the corner of the mausoleum. You wonder who is inside it. A large stone tomb with carved sides is sitting on the corner of the mausoleum. You wonder who's inside it. You better not open the centuries-old tomb. Besides trying to take your cover off, take the cover off would be mur would be murder on your back. All right, what's this cloth statue? You touch the statue, but nothing happens. Curious about what the cloth might be covering, you take a look under it. 
a faded inscription is carved into the side of the tomb. Unfortunately, it's a in Latin, which means you can't understand it. Okay, well, I'd like to examine it just a little bit more. Uh, okay, I can't do anything else about it. Save progress. Okay, can't do anything about that. Oh, but that's an amulet right there. <laughs> it's right in front of my face. A small gold amulet hangs from the statue's right hand. This must be the exorcism amulet Bianchi wants you to get for him. <clears throat> well, it seems easy enough. You consider reaching out and taking the amulet, but something compels you not to. You feel you should learn more about, about it before attempting to remove it. Okay, well, how, where am I going to find that? In, in a book? Uh Okay. Um to do now let's go talk to Bianchi again maybe he can help us out because apparently need more information I have some questions for you time is of the essence be brief Inscription. Mr. Bianchi, I, I found an inscription in the mausoleum. So? There are many inscriptions in the mausoleum. I have a feeling this one might be important. <clears throat> it's underneath the cloth covering the tomb where the amulet is. Very good. But I still fail to see what this has to do with me. Ask for help. The thing is, the inscription is in Latin. Ah, ah. Of course. Show me this inscription. Then. We shall see if it is of any help. Alright, let's look at it. <clears throat> the cloth you say. Yep, see for yourself. Yes. Yes, of course. I can't believe I missed it before. Okay. What? The inscription says, Do not touch the amulet with bare hands. Oh. That is why I was unable to take it before. Okay, so now what? Now, you figure out a way to get the amulet. Call me when you are successful. Jerk. <laughs> Guess so. All right, let's uh, use this uh, glove on ourselves. The white glove. You're not in the mood to your Michael Michael Jackson impersonation right now. How about use the white glove on the amulet? With the inscription in mind, you carefully slip on the glove and reach for the amulet. Mr. Bianchi, I got it. All right, finally. Ba -da -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. I must confess, I underestimated you. Yes. Now, hand over the amulet. Hold on a second. Yeah. What Hold guarantee on. do I have that you aren't just going to kill me once I give it to you? Quite frankly, none. Hmm. You have two choices. Either you give me the amulet and die with dignity. Or I kill you right now and take the amulet from your corpse. Oh, well in that case, I'll take the third choice. What's that? What? You, you smashed it. Fool. Do you have any idea what you've done? What you've done? Bum, ba, bum. You've released a demon! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, that can't be a good thing. Uh oh. 
stole his soul. Bum, ba, ba. Well, that turned out better than I had hoped. <laughs> I guess so. So that's it. Yankee's dead. Wow. Yeah. I guess that'll teach him to mess with powers he doesn't understand. So what happens now? Poetic you justice. Like Anthony? <clears throat> well, their leader is dead, and the last relic they were looking for is destroyed. I don't think there's much they can do now. Good work, Ben. Yes, another job well done. Yep. All right. Oh well. Ah, oh, shucks, you're making me blush, guys. <clears throat> I'm glad we came out. It's a nice night. Yeah. Are you okay, Ben? What? Mm. Yeah, I'm fine. You always seem to get like this after a case. What's on your mind? A few things. I was thinking about the future. If all the cases I've investigated so far are a result of Bianchi taking relics, what happens now that he's dead? Will there be any more paranormal activity to investigate? Or was this all just some fluke? Well, even if there isn't anything left, at least something good came out of all of this. What's that? I met you. Look, Alice, I'm really sorry I've been kind of distant towards you since that night in Greece. I have to admit, I was pretty reluctant to pursue a relationship with you. No, wait, that didn't sound right. I just meant I had some issues I had to get over. You mean Mary and the whole smell home thing? How did you... Simon isn't very good at keeping secrets. Oh well. Don't be mad at him, he meant well. Oh, I'm not mad. <coughs> I thought it was funny how intent on playing matchmaker he was. He cares about you a lot, Ben. He just wanted to see you happy. I am happy. I think I'm in a really good place right now. We both are. Maybe. But I can think of at least one place that we could be that's better than this cafe. Mm -hmm. That was a little corny, wasn't it? Extremely. But I'll let it slide this time. Let's go. You return to your hotel room and spend a very enjoyable night with Alice. A few hours later. Ben. Uh, ben, wake up. What the heck? Someone is here, Ben. Wake up. Wake up. Uh, what? What? Who, who's here? What the hell? Dun, dun, Alice? Dun. Where did she go? Who's Alice? Who well, the there you are. Who, I thought... What? Who is this guy? Hey, who are you? Get out of here! Whoa, hey, there's no need for that. You want my money here? It's in the desk over there. Uh, a dart gun! What the hell? You regain consciousness and find yourself and Simon tied up in an unfamiliar room. You try to speak, but find your tongue is numb. Whatever that big guy shot you with must have been powerful stuff. Oh my god, it's the Cardinal! Huh. I see you awake at last. Good. Oh, this shit. I'm so surprised to see me, Mr. Jordan. Oh, you honestly think I wouldn't find out about what you did? Really? Not only do you destroy a precious religious artifact, but you kill my most faithful follower as well. This will not do. It is lucky for the Knights of St. Anthony that your interference has not caused too much damage. However, your actions will not go without consequence. I regret to say that I am unaware of your friend Miss Wilkins' whereabouts. Though rest assured, my men will find her. As for Mr. Booth... Uh-oh. Max? This is gonna be scary, man. Hold on to your hats! This is pretty intense. I am sure you are familiar with the old concept of an eye for an eye. It really is one of the most important lessons the Bible can teach us. You have taken something from me. And now I must take something from you. I oh regret God. doing this, Mr. Jordan, but it is divine law. Now, Max. God. Oh my God, Max! Oh no, he's gonna do it. Ah! Simon!
pushes them down the pit the, the cellar sometime later you wake up in a musty wine cellar your head is swimming but you find that you've regained the ability to move however since you're still tied up that doesn't do you much good the events of the past few hours are playing your mind like some horrible movie you can't get the image of Simon's body laying on the floor and a pool of blood out of your mind you wonder where Alice is and if she's even still alive anchored by Cardinal Genovese's unimaginable cruelty you resolve to get yourself out of this mess <clears throat> Save our progress as wine cellar. <coughs> barrel. Medium sized barrel sits in the corner. You try struggling with your bonds to see if they come loose, but no luck. Those these guys really know how to tie a knot. Is there anything in my inventory? No reason to use that on yourself. Spigot. Oh man, how am I good? What can I do? succeed in hurting your hands piece of paper else of interest is there anything else small silver spigot oh a medium sized barrel sits in the corner there's a little sharp edge of the, the loose ring noticing the sharp point on the edge of the loose ring you ease up to it and try to cut through the ropes. Ow. This would be a lot easier if I could see what I was doing. Finally you're able to cut the rope. Get back up on your feet. Wine cellar. Small silver spigot. <clears throat> Open the spigot and a stream of red, dark red wine begins to pour out. Okay. A small puddle of red wine is on the ground. You don't want to touch the wine, it reminds you of blood. Decide to pour out some more wine. Why? A large iron gate leads further into the wine cellar. Beyond that, you, you see several shelves full of wine bottle bottles. More wine! Why? I don't know why. Okay, oh, wine cask, what's this? Indentation. Look, look at that. The wine has revealed a small outline on the floor. There must be a secret compartment down here. How about the gate? Open the gate? What's in here? The gate is locked. Look, looks like you won't be able to steal any wine. How about a key? Will that help? That has no effect on the gate. Let's, uh, let's use this indentation then. <clears throat> you are unable to open the compartment with your fingers. All right. Well, what? Well, what? How about the keys? Use the key on the compartment. <clears throat> that doesn't seem to work. Loose ring. Let's use a use loose ring. You pull on the loose ring until a piece of it breaks off. It's a piece of sharp metal that is used to be ring around the barrel. Alright, save progress. You slide this, this metal fragment into the indentation. What's this? It's a small dark compartment. 
in the floor. These Vatican people sure like to hide stuff. You look in the compartment, but all you find is an old leather-bound book. Curious, you flip through it. <clears throat> Although most of it is written in Italian, you are able to gather that it's some sort of record book for the Knights of St. Anthony. You're about to put the book back when you read us reach a page listing the group's members. Okay, who is on the list? Bum bum bum. Percival Quentin Jones. <coughs> Bonk. He knows too much. Now what? Oh shit. Writing, art, and scripting by Francisco Gonzalez. Music by Peter Gresser. Additional music by Andrea Slot and, and Adam Hay. AGS Engine by Chris Jones. Beta testing. Featuring the vocal talent of Eric Furston as Ben Jordan, Adam and Cronin as Simon Booth. May he rest in peace. Jade Garcia as Alice Walkins. Wickets. <clears throat> Chris Jones as Percy Q. Jones. Cameron Urguart as Vincenzo Bianchi. Philip Sacramento as Cardinal Jolivis. Christian Tate as Father McNamara. Matt Gardner as Alessandro Renzi. Peter Gresser as the Swiss Guard. Francisco Gonzalez as the Death Sergeant. Alien Neri as Theater Usher. Ryan Keepence as Thomas Ryman. Ryan. Taylor Miner as Pete Jordan. Amberly Johnson as Jenny Jordan. Dave Gilbert as Bill Jordan. Mercedes Gonzalez as Helen Jordan. Ryan Keepens as Bianchi's neighbor. Intervention, written and performed by Arcade Fire. Awesome song. I'm not sure if you're able to hear it on YouTube, but it's a great song. Get that song by the Arcade Fire. The Pietro of Niete Caleci from Le Traviato by Gusotto Verdi. BJ by Edward Ruiz. <clears throat> Special thanks all the voice actors Dave Gilbert, Adam Holtzman, Felix Strott, Andrew McCormick. <clears throat> thank you for playing and thank you for watching, YouTube. I would appreciate it if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google Plus, all the social media websites that you usually use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel and you get notified of more gaming videos I'll be doing in the future. Thank you for watching. Good night and happy Canada Day and happy uh, 4th of July. 
Corbet Graphic Design. At Corbet Graphic Design, the value to the customer is number one in considering the project. Uh, Corbet Graphic Design with Norman Corbet at the helm has been uh, really helping me with my website, VideoGamersOasis.com. He's stripping it down the old, building up the new, and turning it into a very professional looking website. I highly recommend if you need high quality graphic design and website design, CorbetGraphicDesign.ca. This has been a paid 30 second video ad for one of my patrons. If you would like a 30 second video ad at the beginning, middle or end of my new videos, become a $25 patron at www.patreon.com forward slash video gamers oasis play theater. Subscribe to my gaming channel to get the latest updates on my videos. Don't forget to ring my bell. And you'll get notified, uh, and I can notify, get notified whenever um, you know you're, you're watching my videos, and you can get notified whenever a new video sh gets popped up. Bye. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery, and you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history yeah. Say my name, or you say her name.